simplest way that I can show everyone that this does work. Um, I'm super stoked right now. Uh, this was kind of a tricky thing to get to get working correctly. All right, so I am running 4K at 144 hertz. I was able to get G-Sync to lock in correctly and work with FreeSync Premium Pro. Um, they say that you're not able to get 144 hertz while you have variable refresh rate enabled with NVIDIA Control Panel. So this is the workaround. Um, this is the TV that I got. Uh, I was really hoping to get, you know, I was just trying to upgrade to the 120 hertz from the 60 just so I could have a cleaner experience. But then I found that this one actually has really good reviews. And they're saying here that it does support 144 hertz on HDMI port 1 uh, only when variable refresh rate is enabled. So on the remote, there is a button directly below the home button. It's the menu button. You hold that down, enable gaming mode, turn it on, force it on, and then you will then be able to turn on variable refresh rate in Windows. Uh, you go to your graphic settings, go to display, and then you go here. Turn this toggle on. If you're not able to see this, it's not working correctly. And uh, you got to make sure that this is very crucial this is the most crucial part um that you've got a certified hdmi cable that's 2.1 and it's able to do 48 gigabits per second okay this one actually says in the specs or uh features variable refresh rate quick frame transport dynamic hdr 48 gigabits per second if it doesn't have all of these it you know, this is the only one that I've actually seen that said it can do this. You know, it, it's not claiming to be able to do the 144. However, it, it if you do the math, it's able. Okay, it's fine. Um, this, I got it from Best Buy. It's, I hate Best Buy normally. I don't shop there. I try to do everything I can with other places. But, you know, they had this. So if it's 50 bucks... To make all of this work then so be it you know because this is a pretty expensive experience anyway this is very crucial um, i went through seven different cables none of them worked this is the only thing that worked um, there's probably others out there that have those same specs anyway i was able to get g-sync on locked in i was able to get the resolution the way it's supposed to be with full rgb 10-bit color okay this is using hdr 10 plus uh, let's go ahead and scroll through here. Uh, monitor technology, low uh, latency mode to ultra, uh, highest available, uh, prefer maximum performance for this one, um, quality for this one. We're going to go ahead and go with fast V-Sync. Uh, I've got a 3090 RTX MSI. Um, it, is the Ventus with the three fans, so I'm, I'm able to push quite a bit. I've got an AMD Ryzen 9 5950X. Um, you know, it's it's. I didn't want bottlenecks. You know, I just wanted to be able to work and do whatever I needed to do without problems. Um, all right, it's possible, guys. Um, I tried to do this with. Uh, to customize here and create a custom resolution through NVIDIA control panel and fail after fail after fail. And what I was able to do is get the actual, uh, the timings for this by plugging in a display port to HDMI cable. And it, it was able to lock in the 144, but it, it would go black whenever I would load a game. Like it, what it was doing is maxing out the bandwidth in the cable, uh, in the in the adapter, and so the DisplayPort 1.4a is limited to 32 gigabits transfer speed, and you know this HDMI 2.1 actually worked. The 48 was enough. Um, basically, we're going to minimize this. 
you have to use a program called Custom Resolution Utility. Be very careful with this. It's very powerful. Okay. Make sure you have the correct display selected here. It's the one that says active for your main monitor for this TV. It'll say Bayo. Um, you go ahead and come down here and you create, add a new for the extension block, um, detailed resolution, um, display ID 1.3 is the one selected here. And if you double click this guy, these are the numbers. These are the magic numbers, okay? for this particular TV. I'm sure that this is similar for a lot of other brands. Um, this this works, okay? So once you get this manual timing locked in, make sure your polarity is on the correct sides. Um, once this looks exactly like this, go ahead and click OK, but I'm gonna click Cancel for now, and then click OK again, click OK again, and then click OK again. Then you will be able to double click this guy and it'll restart your graphic drivers. Okay. Um, once you do that, you close NVIDIA control panel and you go ahead and reopen. And then uh, it will show the 144 in the list. You know, go ahead and try it out. Make sure that you're using 10 bit color. Um, so that the in it, HDR is turned on, uh, gaming mode needs to be turned on in Windows. Okay, this is on. This needs to be on. Um, all of these things are crucial. Like it, it was very weird to try to figure this out because there's not a lot of uh, stuff out there to read for this. Um, yeah. Not <laughs> uh, yeah, G Sync. I'm right now. I'm using it with full screen mode. Um, I tried windowed mode, and I was having some weird things happen. So I just went back to just this. Um, for 3D settings, you know, take a screenshot or pause. Program settings. This is for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Okay, um, it does work. Uh, I don't know why this doesn't work right out of the box. NVIDIA needs to make this happen. This is BS that uh, it takes like all this research to do this. Anyway, totally able to play the game now. It's not showing me any black screens. Everything's just holding solid. Um, you know, Give a like, uh, subscribe if this helped you. Um, it's going to make a huge difference for the algorithm. I just really need uh, someone out there to see this, and, and I hope that I make your day. <laughs> um, you have a fantastic weekend, and... <laughs>